Oh, fuck Putin and fuck Russia. Um, I wanted to, just before you enjoy the video for today, um, just share some some positive uh, energy and, 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 and say stay safe and stay uh, as strong as you can. For those of you that are affected in Europe, it's a terrible situation. Um, also, this channel here uh, is a gaming channel, and I, I know that the majority of you guys that come here come to have a laugh and come to be entertained. And every day we, you know, I try and have fun and make videos for you guys so that you can escape the, the bullshit that's going on in the world and um, be happy and have a laugh. Uh, that's what I'm going to keep doing. I hope the situation resolves as best as it can, and I hope that everyone uh, stays as safe as you can and as strong as you can. Uh, I just wanted to record this uh, before today's video because I haven't had a chance. I've been traveling and for the past three, four, five videos there's been lots of comments which I will not delete. Uh, you guys are free to leave whatever comments you like in the comment section. If I can at least bring a little bit of joy or laughter to your, your day uh, where you can escape some of uh, the crap that's on the news, I think that's a good thing. So enjoy the video today guys and salute to you all. Here I am in my little turd. The love bug, I call it. Tier 9 British Light Turd. What do you do when you're one of these little turds? Uh, in, in a Tier 10 game, on a map that really isn't the best map for spotting. Well, let's have some fun and watch. I'm in a good mood today, guys. How are you? How are you all doing? I'm going to try something a little bit different in the game. Uh, I'm going to zoom ahead as a little turd can and instead of going to the middle or going up the hill I have decided let me try something a little bit sneaky the British would call it cheeky <laughs> well I spotted a leopard and because of my amazing concealment I am not detected Ooh, and I spotted a GSOR going for the hill if I would have went for the hill I would have encountered that GSOR now I must have better concealment than those two guys because I spotted them and they did not spot me in oh, oh, who did I spot now? Oh, I got some spotting assist. Oh, and I spotted a ooh, Dez. Better, up, 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 up. Okay, what have I got myself into here? I got some spotting assist on the Leopard PTA. Hmm. Well, interesting. I'm in a cheeky spot. What do you do in one of the worst tanks in the game? The worst line in the game. Uh, these British light tanks, they have uh, no DPM. Very poor maneuverability, <laughs> no armor, uh, no alpha, uh, no gun elevation. <laughs> what else don't they have? They're not that fast, they're not that maneuver. They have concealment. They have concealment and view range, I guess. Concealment and view range. Now, I'm going to show you this game, uh, which has been my best game so far. Look at this. I am beside these guys, but I'm not detected because I'm behind this bush. Now, if I pull the trigger, I'm... I'll be lit and I'm dead. So I'm basically stuck here. Hopefully I can help my team and maybe do something important later on. But I do not ace this tank. This is my best game so far, but I do not ace the tank. And the reason is because there's a little bit of a... It's sort of a catch-22, guys. It's sort of a catch-22. I'm going to explain it to you. Some of the most underwhelming tanks in the game are also the hardest ones to ace. Oh! Enemy vehicle, Enemy vehicle is destroyed! And of course the uh, female announcers, or female crew members, those British females. You know, I gotta be very careful here. Uh, look at the minimap. I've got enemies to the left of me. Enemies to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with this turd. Uh, and, and this is the reason. I'm gonna show you an ace tanker game after this game. Um, if you look at the average damage, the average uh, spotting assist, the average XP that a tank like this does, it's dismal. It, it's, it's, it's not that good, okay? It's not that good. So you can play this thing, and if you're a good player, you're going to get your first and second and close to your third mark very quickly. The expected value for this tank is not very good. A lot of games, you're going to roll out, you get detected, you get killed, or someone YOLOs you. You can't 1v1 anyone. It's, it's just a bad tank. So the expected values of it are not that high. Well then why is it so hard to ace, Klaus? 
Well, because the uh, Ace Tanker games, to get Ace Tanker, you have to get uh, basically more XP than 95% um, of everyone else. If you're in that top 5 percentile in your game, then you get Ace Tanker. But to do that, you have to have that extreme game. And for this tank, the extreme game happens when magically you end up with eight, 9,000 spotting assist. And then maybe you do a little damage yourself, you end up with 10,000 combined. And you get Ace Tanker. <laughs> but that is uh, not easy to do every game. And it's very dependent on uh, what map you play on and your teammates. And, and a lot of variables that you do not have control of. So acing a, a turd tank like this um, requires you to get the right map, the right team, the right enemy team and then oh i'm spotted oh wait a minute here how did i get spotted did that guy proxy spot me no he didn't but i'm making a run for it making a run <laughs> yeah I, I, this is a loss right three six i'm in the mighty british tank britain will never give up oh wait a minute that's scotland let's just watch the game oh, 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 oh. oh boy do i run am i i'm not detected can i actually do it can I shoot this guy and remain undetected? Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, I can do it. I can't pen him, but I can do it. So let's switch to premium ammo. Now I'm shooting, uh, the premium ammo here has 254 pen. The regular ammo has 232. It's not that much of a difference, but I think this will be enough to go through his lower plate. Yeah. Oh, we damaged them. We, we hit you for 247, and now we can reload forever. <laughs> so let me get back to the discussion point here when you're some turd tanks in the game they're so bad that uh, your average game is just not that good if, if i compare my results in this tier 9 with all the other tier 9 light tanks as far as damage and win rate it's going to be pretty bad i'm going to say well i really didn't like this tank but the extreme game when the stars align Hey, let me shoot this guy in the ass. When the stars align... Now, see, if I just keep shooting these enemies and I shoot all these enemies another 273 times, maybe our team will have a chance. That's how bad this is. Boop! <laughs> I'm just being annoying here. I'm just being an annoying turd. This is how you have to play it, guys. So, uh, when you look at the uh, distribution of the results of this particular turd and some other turds uh the average is going to be pretty disappointing the worst games are going to be like everyone else when you do zero the worst is always zero but the extremely good games for this particular tank the that top five percent of games is extraordinary um it, extraordinary uh, damage assist games and if you don't get prokhorovka or a camp in a bushka, or, or a map that lets you do the spotting assist, you will not ace this tank. You could try as hard as you want, have the best game you want. Oh, I got spotted. Oh, stupid me. I thought, okay, yeah, he was, he was not, I was not pushed when he drove by. But can I shoot him one more time up the ass? Can I do it? No, he got away. And the 50 got away. I'm still kind of stuck here. I can't leave because that VZ-55 is up on the ridge line. Maybe I can proxy spot him, guys. Do you think I can proxy spot that guy? Because if I try and scoot away, he'll shoot me twice up the ass and I'm pretty much dead. And I've got, and that's the other thing. I don't have much HP. <laughs> oh, where is he? There he is, okay. Did I proxy spot him? I thought, no, he was, uh, no, I didn't. I did not get that spotting assist. He's retreated now, so this is my chance to get away. Okay, let's look at the mini-map here. What do we do, guys? Look at the map. Let's look at the map. Let's make the map bigger. What do we do? Well, the enemies, I count one, two, look at the mini-map, three, four, five. There's five enemies right here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six enemies left on artillery. Okay, there's some last known positions. That means this path is clear. Brrr, around the bend. We're going round and round and round around the bend. That's what we're going to do because we looked at the mini-map and, um, you know, 
uh, it tells you things. You get good information. Why don't we do that? Why not look at the minimap? Uh, let's go. Come on. Well, the other thing this thing does, if you hit one of these little brick walls or even a tiny bush, it slows down. <laughs> Stupid tank. What do I got now? 1,800 damage and 1,100 spotting assist. That's certainly not enough uh, to ace this tank. It's going to get better, though. I've got two kills. And I think I'm doing something to help the team here. I'm going to help the team win. Oh, one of my teammates just exploded. Daddy, one of my teammates just exploded. Don't act so surprised, son. Teammates explode every day. Where do we go? Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Now, I've got nobody in the middle. Look at the map again. There's no one in the middle here. So if I spot someone now, there's really no one to shoot. So I have to be careful. That's the other thing when you're playing a light tank. Just be careful. Oh, you have one HP left. Let me take that from you. Thank you. Gotcha! Gotcha! <laughs> Always look at the minimap when you're doing a spotting run or when you're going to go spot enemies. Uh, and make sure that your teammates even have a chance to shoot what you detect. Which is not always the case. And sometimes uh, you run up and do a spotting run and it's actually stupid. You get yourself detected and you die because your teammates can't shoot. So I'm kind of waiting here for the T-62A to make his way to the middle. Look at the T-62A here. If he gets to the middle there, okay, and he's going there, so I'm going to go spot now. Because he can shoot. Track oh, track hit! We've damaged ourselves! 216 of our HP has been evaporated! Alright. T62A? Let's do it. Um, there's got to be an artillery around here, isn't there? Let's see. Yeah, there he is. And I don't have the gun depression. I don't... You useless turd. You utterly useless, stupid tank. You pathetic, useless tank. Enemy armor. Enemy armor is hit! And oh, uh. Ready to fire. We've lost We're stuck here. Oh, we're stuck here! I'm trying my best, guys. I'm trying my best. I curse this thing as I play it. Now, what am I doing? I'm just trying not to get hit. Uh, I probably shouldn't do that. Let's look at. Uh, Look at the traverse speed. It's excruciating. All right, let's go. Where is he? Oh, I'd love to shoot a Yag Tiger up the ass. I would love to shoot a Yag Tiger up the ass. Oh, I know. I know you like it. Were oh, you like it like that? Oh, oh, it's getting hot in there. Oh, I'm just going to regain my strength and give it to you. Oh, yeah. Ready? Take it. Oh. I damaged myself, but I'm reloaded. Oh, yeah. So that's good enough for first class, guys. Not ace, just first. Let's look at the team score. Klaus Kellerman is on top. With 3,087 damage, 5 kills, 1,221 XP, and that was with 2,000 137 spotting assists. So 5,000 combined, not good enough for Ace Tanker. But let me show you something. Since we're on this website where I'm showing you the results, let's find a replay and just see what it takes, okay? We're gonna go to uh, Tier 9 Light Tanks, uh, Britain, Great Britain, UK. There it is right there. Let's just show those results, okay? So these are all the results, all the games that GSORs have loaded and let's uh, let's sort on experience because that's what dictates ace tanker let's go experience and what do we see exactly what I told you it's pretty much all the same maps maps that are conducive to to spotting and the top XP game for a GSOR there you go 14.6 K spotting assist right there Second highest uh, game on XP is, uh, where does it tell you? Uh, 5,000 spotting assists, 6,000 spotting assists here, 15,000 spotting assists, 16,000 spotting assists. Right? These games, uh, 
those are the ace tanker games you got to get the right map let's look at the 16,000 spotting assist uh, game here that gave him three marks look at that barely shot his gun that's what it takes to get ace tanker guys let's shout out jackal from the r2y clan shout out to you guys he's playing this thing he's in a full tier 10 game he is running uh, bond optics low noise muffler and commander's vision system exactly the way i have it set up he's running food he also has a camo directive he's got camo paint just like me i don't think i was running the camo directive in my game but check this out uh, this is another thing that you got to get used to when you're when you're just playing was that arnold schwarzenegger to shut up i'm trying to do a video here this is another thing that you got to be really careful with uh, when you're playing regular tanks he's in a tier 9 light tank Yes, his team has a tier 9 light tank. So the enemy team needs to have a tier 9 light tank. And what do they get? They get an EBR. And the EBR could really mess up his game if he counters him. If the EBR does a little run here, I know exactly the bush he's going for. There's the EBR. He's messed them up. The EBR has countered him. He could be dead here. But no, his team takes out the EBR. Because the EBR was a Muppet and stopped. The EBR used his speed to park. And that's, I guess, one of the ingredients. You need the enemy light tank player, who's almost always in an EBR, to be a Muppet! GG! <laughs> easy now, look at them. They, they're already in the chat. His teammates are going, easy now. You could just spot the one line. This game is over. In case you didn't know, guys, this game is over. But uh, that was a, a perfect illustration of the danger of being in a regular light tank. He was going for this bush. There's two bushes you can go to. Let's let's get out of third. You could go here. You could go up here. These bushes right here give you complete view of the one line. It looks like the enemies didn't come down the one line. Let's see how this game progresses. But he was going for one of those aggressive passing, passive spotting, not passing, passive spotting bushes. He was going for it. The EBR and the enemy team had him countered. He had his number. He was spotted. He was dead. But the enemy team did not capitalize on the EBR spotting because their deployment looks pathetic. And on top of that, the EBR parked. Uh, and he wasn't in a bush. <laughs> so the stars have aligned. And now we're going to see how this guy uh, does 1,600 spotting assist. He could probably move up here. Although it is still uh, early in the game, but I look at the, the EBR is dead and the Bat Chat 25T is dead. Look at the remaining players. Just glance at the, who's left. And there's not even that many medium tanks. There's only two medium tanks. There's a lot of heavy tanks. There's a lot of TD. So you can just do, you've got Commander's Vision System, Camel Directive. You've got everything, buddy. You could just drive down. He could basically just drive down this line of bushes here. And, and rack up, oh, and, and just get some recon for his team. See if there's anyone down there at uh, K1, K2, the typical camping spots. Look at the map down in here. He can easily go down that line now. Uh, but he's choosing to be a little bit more um, passive at this point. He's not going to get the assist from these guys because you're not spotting them. Uh, your teammates that are poking the ridge line have those guys lit, not you. Now watch. See, he's not getting the spotting assist. He's, uh, he's, you're not getting the spotting assist, buddy, because you cannot spot through this line of bushes right here. You cannot spot him through this line of bushes. It's your teammates that are doing the spotting. And hopefully he realizes. Oh, we know he does. He's going to realize this in a minute, and uh, hopefully. <laughs> hope you don't, uh, I hope it doesn't take you nine minutes to realize that. But uh, your, your team is getting some damage, and you are not getting credit for any of it. And now you've taken a hit because one of your teammates got spotted, probably. And one of the campers shot your teammate and hit the poor little light tank. Now you just got to drive down there, buddy. That's what you got to do. Stay in the bushes. With your commander's vision system and concealment, you will detect them before they... There! Stop! Stop! Whoa, donkey! When I say whoa, I mean whoa! There you go. Stop, stop, stop. There, that's all he's got to do. There's no way anyone will out detect him. And I feel happy for him. This is a dream come true now. That's all he's got to do. 
No problem. Just, uh, there you go. Stop, stop. Uh, don't knock trees down. <laughs> They'll blind shoot you. There you go. Oh, ho, ho. it's Christmas time. Wargaming has put the tanks here. It's Christmas time. We can spot them without fear. In this world of plenty. Okay, I'll, I'll shut up. I'll shut up. <laughs> but it's exciting to see. Isn't this beautiful? And that's what it takes, guys. That's what it takes. Um, a combination of uh, the right map. The right Muppets on the enemy team. <laughs> Basically the right map. I don't, it, it's this map. This is the best spotting map in the... Oh, you detected? Wow, he didn't even get detected. The best spotting map in the game, by far. When you get this map, it's your chance to be a star if you, if you drive a light tank. Also, uh, a little bit of luck, because uh, as you noticed, there were not four light tanks per team, which happens sometimes. I don't think I've got this map yet, playing this tank. I haven't got it yet, so I, <laughs> hey, if I got this map, I would have aced it. It all depends on your teammates, whether they can shoot. It all depends on what the, what the enemy light tank does. It also depends on whether there's, um, you know, if there's four EBRs <laughs> or, or four light tanks per side, it's a lot harder. So he's just got uh, uh, the absolute best possibility. It's just just beautiful. What what you know? <laughs> he is just there. You go. Just easy, easy. And there goes the object. <laughs> just a beautiful thing when it happens. 1,655 uh, XP. He ended up with 16,232 spotting assists. He only did 323 damage. Beautiful game. And guys, um, that's what it takes. That's why some of the biggest turds in the game are the hardest tanks to ace. Because they are so specific in what they can do. That you need those stars to align, you need the right map, you need the right teammates, you need the right enemies for it to happen. But if you just keep at it, one day, one day it's going to happen. And one day hopefully it'll happen to me. And when I get my ace tanker in this game, I'll show you the game. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you on the next one.